this thing is old news. I'm man, man, forget these Hellcats. They trash. Everybody got one. It ain't even special to have no damn Hellcat no more. Get out of here, man. You oh, you got a Hellcat? That's trash. It ain't nothing. Everybody got a Hellcat right now. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. But that's what people be saying nowadays. I'm gonna talk. We're gonna talk a little bit about Werewolf Gang. I meant to say, what's up, Werewolf Gang? We're gonna talk about it. Yeah. We're gonna talk about a Hellcat. Is it any? Is it special to own a Hellcat right now? Is it? Is it a special thing right now to own a Hellcat? I don't know, man. I mean. It's not, not everybody owns a Hellcat, but it's a lot of goddamn Hellcats out there right now. It's a lot of Hellcats out there, so. Is it special anymore to own a Hellcat? I would say, in my opinion, yeah, it's still a special thing to own a Hellcat, but it's not as special as it used to be. You know, it's not as special as it used to be. You know, everybody running around Hellcats, and now people trying to steal these goddamn cars. They want to steal the car from you. So you got to. Worry about people trying to steal your goddamn car. People, when, the, when I go to drop parking lots and stuff like that, I got to park away from everybody because it's always somebody hating. Scratch your cars up. Try to scratch your car up. Man, I got some scratches on my car. And my car ceramic coated. Somebody tried to scratch my car right there. They did that on purpose, man. Some real haters. So, it ain't nothing special. But it is. It's like, it's 50-50 in my book. You know, I got... I own the Scat Pack, which I own the 392 Daytona. I'll put a little video so y'all can see what that look like for those who ain't for those who ain't Werewolf Gang yet. But if you ain't Werewolf Gang yet, hit that subscribe button, man. Come on, become, become part of the Werewolf Gang, man. The Word Gang. But yeah, like I was saying, man, I own the Scat Pack, and uh, I love that Scat Pack. It is a popular car. Not everybody owned that car when I owned the Scat Pack, so it was cool to own that as well as my Hellcat. Not everybody owned the Hellcat. When I own my, as I own my Hellcat, and right now not everybody owns a Hellcat, but people that took the nostalgia away from the car, you know, it's not as, you know, it's not as like uh, the myth, the ghost, like it used to be. I remember people, you you know, you rarely see these damn things. You still rarely see, it ain't like you're going to see a Hellcat every day, you know what I'm saying? You may see three or four scat packs a day now, and you might see one Hellcat, maybe one Hellcat, but I'm just saying they're so prevalent on social media. Then you got the rappers talking about it. You got the celebrities talking about these damn cars. You know, the myth. You know what I'm saying? The legend. He, it, it, it ain't a myth or a legend if everybody see you all the time. If you always being seen on social media, you always got the rappers talking about it. Ain't a myth no more. You ain't the legend. You ain't the secret ghost. You ain't the phantom no more. So. You lose some of that nostalgia. You you lose some of that that uh you know man I never I wish I could see a Hellcat. You lose that. So when somebody see it in person, it ain't as many oohs and ahs as it used to be because they done seen it so much on social media. How many times you I mean burnout? That ain't nothing special to burn out in a Hellcat no more. You know, it ain't nothing special to burn out in a Hellcat no more. Wrapping a Hellcat, ain't that much spe Ain't too much you can do to a Hellcat that ain't already been done. Now you can do your, you can, now don't get it twisted. You can do your own style. Now you can do your own style. Can't nobody do you like you do you. So at the same time, it's still cool to, you know, own your car and do it up how you want to do it. I'm just saying so many people done done it that it ain't nothing special. It's to the point where... I look at my Hellcat now, because I got plans for my Hellcat. Even though it's a slim body, I can do, you know. Now, we know if I really want to get a wide body, I can get the wide body. Let's not get it twisted. And I can throw a wide body on here quick. That ain't nothing. But I want to, it's, it's the car. I want to do a few things to the car before I get rid of it. But sometimes I'll be thinking, man, just get rid of the Hellcat. Get it like a ZL1. Because I've been, I ain't going to lie to you. I've been looking at ZL1s. I've been looking at, uh. Cobras, GT500s, I've been looking at the TRX, I've definitely been looking at those, uh, excuse me, Trackhawks, man, I love those Trackhawks and those 392 Jeeps, so I've been, you know, looking, thinking if I want to even keep the Hellcat because so many people got them, and uh, it's like 
They ain't as special as they used to be. Don't get it twisted. Don't think that I'm dissing Hellcats because I'm not. The Hellcat is still, to me, the number one car out there. If you got a, if you own the Hellcat, it's still, you still the shit. I'm just saying, people don't, you know, ain't as impressed with you in the Hellcat no, as they used to be, so. And being that people in the social media, they make giving these cars bad names, they cry, they crashing these bad boys, they wrapping them around trees, running into people, hurting people. They out there doing Mustang things. <laughs> they out there doing Mustang things in these Mopars right now. Running over people, uh, taking off in races and going into crowds. And it's just giving a, it's giving a young Hellcat bad names. People out here stealing them, robbing people for them. Catch you at the stoplight, stealing your goddamn car. People dying over these cars. You know, they got the, they got mechanics out there setting you up. You know, you bring your car to a mechanic. He check your car out. And next thing you know, your car's getting stolen. Because he done told somebody where you stay at or not. He, not even where you stay at. He done told somebody your car gonna be his, on his lot. So they come steal your car off his lot. And he act like he don't know what happened. It's just crazy stuff going on out there, man. So y'all gotta be worried with these Hellcats. And, uh... But yeah, I just wanna elaborate, man. These, these Hellcats, they still great cars. Don't get it twisted, man. It's just... They ain't as legendary as they used to be. I'm keeping it all the way 100. They not as legendary as they used to be. So, if you ask me today, right now, if you said, T-Light, if you got a choice of getting any car right now, would you get the Hellcat Challenger or Charger, or would you get a uh, ZL1 1LE? I'm probably gonna take the ZL1 1LE, because it's, it's more rare. It's a rarer car right now than the Hellcat. It's just a more rare car. It's, you don't see as many ZL1s. You see them, but you don't. You definitely don't see no ZL1 1LE running around. You rarely see those with the canards. So the car is so much. So many people got these cars, and not a lot of people got those other muscle cars. You know, I, I think I rarely see uh, GT500s. I only know one person in town that got one, and I've only seen two or three of them. So they way more rare than Hellcats. And they running with Hellcats, both of those. Now they not running with those big, big Hellcats like the fucking uh, Demon, and but they running, shoot. So yeah, so if I had a chance to choose, I would probably choose the ZL, ZL one or one of those other cars because they much rare, and you gonna get a lot more attention in those cars than the Hellcat. You still gonna get hell, you gonna get a lot of attention in the Hellcat, but less attention as you would as in a one of those other muscle cars. Because a lot of people want these Hellcats. Mopars are the most popular cars. When you're the most popular car, more people want to get you. So, and I think in the long run, the ZL1 is going to be worth a lot of money. As well as those GT500s. Those Mustangs are, Mustangs are going to always be worth a lot of money. Hellcats going to be worth a lot of money too. But if you go to a car show, it's going to be more less GT500s and less ZL1s. Now, and TRXs, that even though they Hellcats. And um, Trackhawks, as well as uh, 392s. So, Jeeps. So, with that being said, I would say like to say, yeah, the Hellcat is a little less cool than it used to be. It's lost some of its coolness, you know, lost some cool points. But it's still a great car to own, it's still a great car to have. I would definitely recommend people getting it if they ever get a chance to get it. Hey, you ever get a chance to get a Hellcat? God darn it, you better get that bad boy and have you some fun, smoke those tires, mod it out. I mean, even if it's just cosmetically modded. I'm, I'm not done. I It's cold out here. I ain't really got to mod my car like I want to. I'll put that on there. And then we got the uh, back diffuser. Uh, so, it's a few emblems. But I got way more mods coming than that. But it, it's just cold outside. I ain't got around to doing it. But believe me, I'm going to get around to doing it, Word Gang. I'm definitely going to get around to doing it, Word Gang. But that's for another video. Like I said, yeah, the Hellcat is still king. But the king, when you see the king a lot and everybody posting the king, everybody taking pictures with the king, the king is not as mythological as not as wanting to be seen. People want to see it as much because they already seen it a lot. So when you already seen it a lot, you're not as like surprised or excited to see something when you are when you always see it all the time and that's what it is with the hellcat you see it so much now that it's done lost some of its juice done lost some of its nostalgia it's done lost some of its you know legendary status even though it's a legend but with that being said man i just wanted to tell y'all do a little video about that because it's just something was on my mind it was on my mind we're gang so i wanted to talk about it so
If you mad at me, put in the comments if you disagree with me. Uh, because I know I'm right. So if you disagree with me, let me know why. Don't just say that you don't agree with me. Tell me why you don't agree with me. And then maybe we can uh, sit down and have a conversation. And I can maybe come along to your side. But with that being said, I'm going to say some positivity to you. Stay away from negative Ned and negative Nancy. Always focus on your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Show them what you can do. With that being said, I'm going to leave this video. I always leave my videos. It's your boy, t Light. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to the werewolf. Gang. Much love to the Light crew. You already know how your boy t Light feels about you. And I'm out this piece. Jidig. Bop. Be the fan, that's what they call